Welcome to our Flixir tutorial series. Today we're going to focus on the essentials of video editing and show you how to cut, trim and split your videos as well as how to combine multiple videos together. These are key skills for any video editing project and we're here to make them easier for you to understand, so let's get started. Before we jump into cutting a video, we'll need to talk a little bit about the timeline, so if you're already familiar with how a video editing timeline works, feel free to skip to the next part. So, for those of you still here, let me try to explain how a timeline works as simply as possible. The timeline is where your images, clips and other elements you want to add to your video will live. It's organized chronologically from left to right, which means that images and videos will appear on screen in the same order that they appear on the timeline. In fact, you can tell the exact moment that something will appear in your video by the timestamps at the top of the timeline. The timeline is also divided into tracks, which you can think of as different layers. When you add a video to the timeline, you can either append it on the end of an existing clip by adding it to the same track, or you can add it on a different track to overlay it. Videos on the top track will always appear on top of the ones below them on the timeline. Of course, you can have your topmost video take up the whole screen, or you can resize it in order to create picture-in-picture -picture effects. Audio elements like music or sound effects will also take up space on the timeline. To keep everything tidy and easy to edit, it's always a good idea to add your audio elements at the bottom of the timeline underneath all the video stuff. Now that we've learned what a timeline is, let's look at the easiest way to cut a video. To cut a video, you first need to import it into Flixir. You can do this through various options. You can drag and drop it from your computer, import it using Google Drive, paste in a link from other social networks, or use our brand new phone import feature if the video is already on your phone. After placing the video on the timeline, you can zoom in on the part you want to cut in order to get a little more accuracy. Then place the playhead exactly where you want to make your cut and press the S key to cut your video into two different parts. Alternatively, if you're not big on keyboard shortcuts, you can press the cut button in the editor. To trim your video, just go to the end or start of the video and then click and drag until you get rid of anything you don't want. You'll notice that after you cut a video, you're able to move the two parts around and edit them independently of one another. Speaking of which, now would be a good time to talk about splitting. If you want to split a video in two different parts and save each of them to your computer, the first step is the same as before. Import your video into Flixir. Then you need to drag it down to the timeline and make your cut like we showed you before. Afterwards, you can select the second part and press Ctrl and X. This will copy that section to your clipboard but erase it from this timeline. You can now save the first part of the video to your computer by clicking the export button in the top right corner of the screen. Now you can open a new project and press Ctrl and V to paste the second part of your video which we had initially deleted. Export this one too and you'll have the two clips ready to go on your computer in just a couple of minutes. Finally, it's time to talk about combining videos. To combine two videos, go to Flixir.com, create a new project and import the videos you want to combine. You can place them one after another on the timeline. If you want a smoother transition, make sure they overlap a little on the same track and then pick a transition from this drop-down list. You can control the duration of your transition by dragging the videos around on the timeline. Another way to combine videos that gives finer control over your transition is to overlay them on different tracks on the timeline. Generally, the main video would be called A-Roll and the video placed on top of it on the timeline would be called B-Roll but we'll discuss more advanced topics like A-roll, B-roll, stock footage and other interesting things in our next videos. I hope this video was helpful and that it helped you get a better grip on the basics of video editing. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Until next time, happy editing!